you guys. There it is. Come on. Hmm. What? Where is it? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure I heard it here, though. Hello, everybody. Oh, no. <gasps> Did you miss me? <laughs> because I sure did. Olivia, please, please leave them alone. I thought I got you taken care of, Evangeline. No matter. I guess I'm just gonna have to, well, kill one extra person. I wonder who I should kill first. <laughs> You're not kidding anybody, Olivia. I see you have my daughter, Evangeline. Thank you for looking after my daughter for me, Evangeline. I really appreciate it. Come over here, Michelle. <gasps> Michelle? What's the matter, sweetheart? Don't you not remember me? I'm your mommy. No, no. stay away. Stay away. <gasps> Now you have my own flesh and blood against me. For same, Evangeline. For same. This will be even more satisfying now. <laughs> of course. Now. Continue where we left off, shall we? <laughs> Ninety nine. What the heck? Kids, stay here, okay? Oh. Oopsie. <laughs> My bad. Rob? You little idiot. Sorry. I mean, you could have killed somebody. I just don't know what went wrong. Anyways, uh, I didn't kill anybody, did I? Please don't tell me I did. Well, you hurt someone. <gasps> but she was about to kill me and a bunch of kids. Oh, you don't go away scot-free, just so you know. Oh, wait. Did you say that you and a bunch of kids were about to be killed by this person that my partner hit? Yes, that's what I said. Right, Rob, this is what I want you to do. I want you to get the rest of the force to um uh, capture the person that you hit with the truck. I'm sorry, anyways. While I and, what's your name? Evangeline. Evangeline, go and see the children, okay? Okay. These are the children. Oh, okay. Um, Rachel? What? Uh, me and the other members of the team want to know where, um, the, uh, suspect is. Oh, uh, she's over there. Along with the weapon. Oh, okay. Thank All you. Right. Can someone please tell me what the heck's going on? Okay? Um, please. I can explain to you what happened. Me too. All right. What are your names? My name's Tilly, and my name's Agnes, and this is our daddy, and oh, he needs medical attention. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh, uh, uh, oh my gosh, uh, uh, Gretchen! Get the put Yeah? This man needs medical attention, now! What happened to him? He got shot! Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, anyways, what happened? Well, it all started... And then came your truck that ran over her. And that's everything that happened. Oh my gosh, you girls went through a lot. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, um... Alright, come with me.
Uh, <coughs> uh, Jeremy! Jeremy! Yo? I want you to individually talk to these children, okay? And question them. Alright? Alright. I'll be right back. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Rob. I have something to tell you. Please don't tell me that you lost the evidence again, Rob. Because... Already you lost the evidence 15 times this week. Well, it's not that. Well, you see, I almost forgot the evidence. So you did lose it. Well, no, 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 I got it. But, well, you see, me and uh, Spencer uh, went out to get it. And, uh, well, I, wait, yeah, why did Spencer go with you? Because I'm afraid of being alone just in case somebody might attack me. Ah, I see. Anyways, there was this lady that walked up to us. And, well, like, she wanted to tell us something. A lady? Yeah. What did she look like? Well, uh, she has pink fur, purple eyes, and, uh, she talks in this really, like, stuck-up accent. Well, really, like, a girly girl accent, like, oh, gee, oh, my gosh, yay, oh, my gosh, clothes, clothes, clothes. <laughs> Carry on. Oh, uh, yeah, and, uh, she wanted to talk to us about how, like, her sister was a complete psychopath, and, like, she, she was threatening her life because she wouldn't do what she wanted. Really? And, uh, like, her, um, like, the sister kidnapped that little girl, and then, because, well, she wanted to put revenge on the family of that little girl, because the uh, sister and the little girl's father were dating, and, well, like, uh, there was this whole, like, misunderstanding and stuff, and, like, uh, she killed the... A wife of the boy, the guy, you know, the father of that daughter I just, like, talked about, uh-huh. And, well, um, yeah, that's what she said. And, uh, well, she wanted to know if, like, she could have some medical attention since, well, she, um, is, uh, going through sock. And you didn't bring her to somebody else because... Oh. Oh, wait. You do realize I'm not one of the doctors, right? Well, you have a doctor in the name. Not that type of doctor! Sorry! Bring her here to me. Oh, uh, okay. Um, here she is. Hello, what's your name? My name is... Is Amelia. Amelia who? Amelia Robertson. And, are you telling the truth about this? Yeah, I am. And this isn't a sob story. No. Now, can you tell me everything that happened? Okay, I'll tell you everything. That's everything that happened. Hmm. What's wrong? I just realized your story sounds awfully familiar to someone else's. Come with me. Um, okay. Are you related to this cat? Yes. Yes, I am. It's my sister. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Spencer, I want you to get out of here. But I was just going to tell them a little fun story. I said, get out of here! Okay. Is... Is our daddy going to be okay? Yes, yes, of course, sweetheart. Like, uh... He's all patched up now. Really? Of course. So when will we be able to see him soon? As soon as we bring him to the hospital. But anyways, um, and one of you come with me. I guess I will. 
Okay. Tilly's your name, right? Yeah, and you were the girl who was kidnapped. Uh-huh. And, well, um, do you know this cat? <gasps> Get her away from me! How do you know this cat? Well, she's one of the people that works for that lady. And she was trying to hurt me, my sister, and well, Evangeline and my daddy. Who's Evangeline? Her! Oh. I'm an idiot. And you're definitely sure that this is the person. There's other people too. Really? Who? There's this... Um... Cat. Like, it's a guy. And he has green eyes and he's black and white. And then there's another one who who just has black fur and um has blue eyes. And then there are these two big fat henchmen. Like I think that will like one of them might be obese or something. And then uh, like there's this um one that looks exactly like her except um she's purple and she has blue eyes. Okay. Do you have a sister with blue eyes and has purple fur? Yes. Where is she? Well, she had to go to the bathroom. Oh. <clears throat> Steven! Get over here! You yell? I want you to go and find a cat that has purple fur, blue eyes, and... Oh, and also she has a uh, blue sparkles. And blue sparkles! On... On her head. On her head! Now go, go, go! It's okay, little one. Those horrible people will be behind bars. Don't worry, Tilly. As soon as those two cops catch up with those criminals, them and this one right here will be behind bars. Wait, were you pointing to me when you said this one? Yes, duh. Who else would I be pointing at? Um, my sister. Well, since you were technically taking part of the kidnapping and attempted murder, you will also be going to jail. Along with those other people. But, but that's unfair! I'm a victim! A victim! Yeah, yeah, likely story. Jennifer, we found this guy... Lying on the floor, crying. He also has a broken leg. Tilly, does this match one of the descriptions of your captors? Uh, yes, it does. Good. Take him away. There's also this other guy, but, well, like, we, uh, we'll get him in a minute. Wait, where are you keeping him? Oh, we kept him in our pool. Why? So he wouldn't get away, of course. <gasps> okay, actually, no, that is pretty smart. Mm -hmm. Now, get to work! Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Let go of me now. Let go of me. Let go Here's the other guy. Tilly does as much... One of your captors' descriptions. Yes. You are going to be going to jail along with everybody else. You don't understand. I am a victim of abuse. Really? Yes. Yeah, likely story. Take him away, boys. Urgh! When I get my paws on you, little girl, you will not hear the end of it. Shut up, you tailless freak. Now, come on. Let go of me. Let go of me. Daddy? Michelle. Hey. Let me just talk to my daughter. Michelle, I, I can explain. You don't have to explain anything, Dad. Or should I even call you that? Michelle, don't be silly. I, I am your dad. 
Not anymore. Wait, wait, Basel! Sweetheart, come back! Basel! Why you open the door? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're, you're not gonna put me in there, are you? Wait, 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 no, 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 please, please, no. Please, no, 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 I'm afraid of the dark, please. No, 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 please, no. No, 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 please, no, 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 I'm gonna go talk to Marcel. Um, Marcel, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you sure? You seem very upset back there. Well, I just found out that my dad turned out to be a completely psychopathic kidnapper and killer. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm actually kind of mad now that I think about it. But you can't stay mad at him forever, right? Of course not. But I have a question, yeah? Will I ever see him again? Well, you'll be able to visit him. It kind of depends, I guess. I mean, I think I heard that people that are involved with crimes kind of get a less of a sentence than the person that completely committed it. But while well, they kind of all took a part in it, even if, well, like, they were technically, well, like, blackmail too. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, I was listening to every single word they were saying. So you were eavesdropping? Uh-huh. You're a really good listener, though. Mm-hmm. Do you want to play? Okay. Come on. Um, uh, Miss Lawrence, you can just call me Jenny. Um, Jenny, uh, is it okay if me and my sister can see my daddy? Oh, of course you Thank can. Thank you. Tilly? Yeah? Do you think daddy's gonna be okay? Of course he will. But, well, like, I'm just very worried about him. Don't worry. It'll be fine. He'll be okay. You sure? I'm sure. I hope you're right. <sighs> Did you hear that? It sounded like Daddy! Maybe you were just hearing things. <sighs> Actually, never mind. Go and get... Go and get Evangeline! Okay, okay. Evangeline, Evangeline! Daddy's waking up! He is? Yeah, come on! Bruno? Bruno, can you hear me? Daddy! Daddy! Uh, it smells like marshmallow. Daddy! Daddy! Bruno! We're so glad you're okay! Ugh. Tilly, Agnes, you're safe. Uh-huh. Where's Olivia? Well, um, she's in the criminal hospital. In other words, well, still in this area. <sighs> I want to punch her in the face so much. Yeah, me too. Me three. I'm so glad you're okay, Bruno. Daddy, I miss you so much. I missed you too. Uh, just like you yesterday, Daddy, yeah. you're not going to be mad at me about the fact that I uh, went into our house, like, you know, on my own when you said not to? What? Uh, I mean, uh, I missed you, Daddy. I thought I was never going to see you again, Daddy. Yeah. It's okay. It'll be okay now, alright? Olivia will be behind bars. And what about those other people? Oh, they're going to jail, too! Ooh, that's good. You know what? I'm kind of sad that it isn't illegal to beat up criminals. Because I would oh so love to beat one up. Especially that little purple cat with those stupid, stupid sparkles! 
but, but, but it, it's a good thing I can't. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Excuse me, Jennifer. Yes. Uh, we found uh, another one of the suspects. Oh, thank you. It's um, you know that cat that the that little kid described as purple with sparkles on her head, and also had blue eyes. Oh, yeah. Mhm. Mm Will I bring her in? What do you think? Um. Bring her in! Oh, oh. Here she is. Yeah. Good. Now put her in with that other guy, okay? Um, okay. Okay. Thank you. In you go! Oh, no way. You're not putting me in there. <gasps> Help me. Help me. Help me! You'll be helped as soon as you're in prison. Ooh. Hey! Hey! Get me out of here! Hey! Hey, I don't want to be in with this guy! He farts! Yeah, well, you can get used to it. Because it's like a five-hour ride to jail. So, yeah. You're going to have to stay in there. You can How do you think I feel? Oh, uh, Jennifer, we forgot to tell you something. Yeah. Well, go ahead, spit it out. Well, uh, you see, uh, Megan and, uh, uh, what's the other girl's name again? Jill. Jill, they've, um, uh, found these two guys. Um, in the same area where we found the others, plotting lots of things. Like, well, for one thing, they were talking about, well, of course, Bruno. You know that uh, guy that we rescued? Yes. And uh, the little, they were threatening about the little kitten and how they were going to make Olivia proud. Oh. Okay. Is uh, the suspects here? Yeah. Can you bring them in? Yes. Yes. Here. Thank you. Now, uh, you can put them in with the um, other criminals, okay? Okay. Hey Jennifer, I was wondering, what do you want to have with your fries? Huh? <gasps> Hi. Um, you're really cute looking. Um, uh, my name's Emily, by the way. <laughs> What's yours? Um, excuse me, Emily. Oh, oh uh, <laughs> sorry. Get me out of here! I've lost her phone! Wait. Well, that's all of them. Mm hmm. Now, all we have to do is wait the five hour long bus trip. And then they'll be put behind bars. Mm hmm. Yes, indeed. Um, Daddy, me and Agnes were uh, talking and uh, we wanted to uh, ask you something. Yes, what is it? Well, um, 
You know how we made new friends? Yes. And, well, uh, they go to school. Yes. And, uh, we were wondering if, well, well, no, we could go to school. In other words, maybe the same school as, well, uh, you know, um, our friends. If that's okay. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know. Please? Come on, Bruno. Uh, are you girls sure you're ready? Of course, yeah. Come on, Bruno. Daddy, come on, come on, Daddy, come on. Yeah, Daddy, come on. Uh, wait. Wait, what? All right, I'll let you go to school. Yay! Uh, children, visiting time is now over. Oh, okay, thank you. Bye, Daddy. Have a good rest, okay? Bye, Daddy. I guess that means that I have to uh, go to. Yes. That's kind of what visiting hours over means. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Alice, we had to tell you something. Really? What is it? Well, you see, um, we were talking to our dad about, you know, school and stuff, and he agreed that we can go to school with you. We'll be able to go to the school with you. You know, your school. Woohoo! Ow. Isn't that exciting? Uh-huh, it really is. Are you okay? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. It's just that all. I really do wish my mom was here. I mean, like, I don't know where she is. I'm really worried. Well, don't worry, it'll be fine. I really do miss her. Um, excuse me. Yeah, uh, are you, uh, Alice? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a certain somebody waiting for you. <gasps> Mommy! Oh, Alice, I missed you so much. Mommy! How were you able to survive? Well, it was pretty simple. <laughs> I just, you know, kicked open the door of the truck. And I made my way to the, uh nearest, well, uh, vehicle I could find, and it just so happens that, well, you were here. Oh, Mommy, I missed you. I missed you, too. Mommy, you wouldn't believe this, but, well, till you, and, well, till you found her family, really? Yeah. And, well, she's gonna be, well, like, at my school now, because her daddy's letting her go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm a little bit tired. Me too. We had a long, long, long journey, didn't we? Yeah. We better go to bed. Yeah. Oh. Good night, Tilly. Good night, Agnes. Love you. Love you too.